Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in Heal. A great puzzle game developed by the ever-awesome Jesse Mackinnon and published by Rattalika Games. Now it's available to buy for usually £5.99, but watch out for various sales, etc, etc. So this is a bit of an experimental adventure slash puzzle game with a very obscure yet strong narration all about the complexities of ageing and dementia. Now you'll see that in puzzles as instructions and certain dialogue are used very sparingly. Luckily the puzzles are not that difficult so all is well there. Now achievements wise it is pretty much as you'd expect from any Rattalaga game ever. Uh, you've got achievements for completing every level, a few miscellaneous ones chucked in for good measure, but as I said, all easy peasy, squeeze my lemon peasy. Uh, what? <laughs> anyway, this should take us around 35 to 40 minutes to complete, maybe a little longer depending on how certain puzzles go for you. But with that being said then, let us begin. So what you need to do first then is, I mean this also sort of counts as a point and click adventure as well. This is how we get our... Old age man to move, we're gonna call him Old Captain America, because that's what I assume that Old Captain America would be like. Anyway, what you need to do then, when we start, click the first wooden box directly in front of you. This is what most of the puzzles look like in the game. And then all you have to do then, this is very, very easy, very uh, basic tutorial, but you just need to move all the screws down or up until the um, bit of orange disappears uh, in the middle there. So very easy. One to begin with, like I said, a lot of them are easy enough. But don't just drag them all the way down or all the way up. They need to go a certain height. And there it is. There you go. Game done. Congratulations, guys. And then just <laughs> uh, press the A button and then move it with the left stick. That should get us our first achievement for solving the first puzzle. And then to go back, have a look at the arrow button there on the left-hand side, as you've just seen. And then we can deftly, swiftly move on. Some of the cutscenes do take a couple of minutes, though, to fudge itself up, but there we go. So have a look at this sort of jukebox kind of looking thing now. And we're getting uh, the first missable achievement of the game. All the three buttons, all the three switches, just move every single one all the way up. Red, green, blue, get them all the way up to 255, and that will turn the screen a nice blacky, grey and whitey, black, grey, white colour. So, there's that achievement. Now, to actually finish the puzzle, put the left switch red to 220, the green in the middle to 50, and the blue one to 25, or th uh, 35, sorry, my bad. So it's 220, 50, and 35, and that will complete that level. You'll know when a puzzle is done, when it's got the green tick on the bottom right hand corner right there. Right then, so for the next puzzle, interact with the granddaddy of a clock right by the side of you. Get rid of the boards. And this is another very simple puzzle. All we have to do then is interact with the blue button until it reaches seven. And then interact with the right side button. I really can't tell. It kind of looks like a red, green or yellow or something. Anyway, interact with that until it gets to 9. And then that puzzle is complete. That is nice and cheesy, easy squeezy. So one more puzzle left to do then. And to be honest, these locks kind of look like you could just take a hacksaw to them. Although, uh, this old guy's probably lost the ability to hacksaw. Not for, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to assume an old man's, you know, thing. Anyway, have a look at this puzzle on the wall, and it's a very easy one, but if you just want to have a look at the solution, go to 4 minutes 50 seconds. That is done now. Yeah. So there you go, four easy puzzles just to ease us into it. Um, it's like it through the rest of the game, so that's all good. 
But interact with the door, choose the left icon at the top there to go through it, completing level 1, getting into level 2. So, for level 2, there's a lot of puzzles that we can actually skip. And we need to for this missable achievement right here. So interact with the phone immediately, as soon as you start the level, and just input these numbers. 5518, and yes, you have to do it the old old man, old time, styly dealy phone -a jigger So that's 5518. Then, f uh, oh, we haven't even got past the 8 yet. Okay, there it is. Then, uh, 4036. Imagine showing a kid of today one of these. They, they, their little brains cannot comprehend the amount of work the elderly had to do back in the day. So, 4036, and then 1926. So, that's 1926. And then finally, the TikTok generation can move on from this weird contraption. Ugh. Then they can get back to putting Gorilla Glue in their hair and being generally stupid. Anyway, uh, interact with the switch, pull it down. That's going to unlock us the numbers achievement. And basically, to end chapter two. That'd be days. So we're just going to walk through the door. That'll end it. Job done. Let's move on. So this next, next bit then, we are playing a bit of the old uh, Grand Piani. Again, not on an app. It's, in, it's incredible what people used to be able to do in real life when it wasn't in front of you on a screen. <laughs> now, but this bit's easy. You literally just have to copy the exact same uh, note that's come up on top of the screen there. Alright then, so now here comes the longest yet still easy level of the game. And uh, what we're going to be doing then, when we eventually can get up and walk... <laughs> oh my god, I can't get up my back! Anyway, <laughs> interact with the second puzzle box right here. Um, now, this is a pinball infused puzzle and this one may take a few tries. As you'll be able to see now, when we uh, move the sunset up, move the boards out of the way, you're going to see some arrows underneath. Now what you have to do is press them until they hit a certain number, but you only get one chance. So, you sort of hold the A button, or the X button on PlayStation, until you hit the required number, but it's letting go of the A button at the right time, which is the trickiest bit. So as you see now, I'm gonna f I am do fail a few times, because even if one number is slightly out, that hits the side, and you're done for, boy. But the numbers that worked for me were 68, 100, 35, and 58. Now I'm sure you'll be able to go sort of one number either side, but just keep trying. It did take me around five minutes or so to do, but it's not so bad. But you got this, girl. But as you can see there, so I've already hit 51. And then when you've input the numbers, hit the button on the right. But that is not enough. It's not strong enough to be able to go up. So it's an automatic thing. So that is why. And then as you'll be able to see, I go a bit too hard. Now... The second one's always 100, so that's always good. Uh, but you can do it sort of 33 on the third number there. Um, yeah. So it's it's quite imperative you get the number spot on. As you can see, it'll just overhit it. And yes, so then I <laughs> basically get killed off. But... I mean, it's imperative to do it on all, basically, because even if the if the last number's a bit too short, it's literally just going to stay on the edge and tease you and hate you. But as long as you get the numbers dead on, then you should. There we go. Nice hole in one. Then we get the achievement for completing the ball puzzle. And then you can breathe a goddamn sigh of relief. Thank you, Jesse Mackinnon, for that one. God, that was a, that was a dick move, bro. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, as you can see there, we got a lot of puzzles to get through, so, well, let's crack on. Keep walking to the right. 
By the way, do not go through these doors. Basically, there's an achievement for walking a thousand feet in this level alone. And those doors are basically shortcuts. So do not go through any of the doors and we will get that keep walking achievement after we finish all of the puzzles. So for now, just keep walking to the right. And let's go ahead and into Rakti Rakti with the last puzzle box here. Now this one, again, it looks confusing, but it's really not. So drag the arrow sun upwards, move it aside. Now put the very top marble on the left, put it directly right. You know, without um, <laughs> without screwing up. Somehow I can't get my balls in a hole. And, well, that makes for bad press for me, really, doesn't it? So the second one down the bottom right, and then the third one in the last one. So there's a way to get these balls bigger. <laughs> Hold the A button on the first one at the top. And that's your blue ball filled. <laughs> um, drag it to the left for the second one, and then just tap the A button on the last one. So that's easily done. So it's holding A at the top one, dragging it to the left on the second one, and then tapping the A button on the last one there. Very easy, that's another puzzle done. So if we just keep walking to the left, basically what we need to do now is change it from sunset, or sunrise, yeah, the rise, to daytime. Because there's only certain puzzles which you can do in the day, the night, and the sunset. So we've got six puzzles left to do. So here it is. God, if only it was this easy, I tell you what, I'd be making it sunny every day. And the whole of Britain would be in a beer garden, constantly. Because you know what the Brits are like? Eight degrees sunshine outside, still freezing your tits off, be a garden weather. Oh yes. <laughs> anyway, so we've changed it today, and now we're going to go to the left and interact with the very first puzzle box. The one on the left, right meow. So just keep spinning the sun around until the um, puzzle opens, that's the one. <laughs> And basically, this is just, this isn't another easy one. All you've got to do is click on each individual piece until you uh, are able to form a picture. So if you want to see the solution, just go to 1250 and then just feel free to pause the video. It's very easy though. It's a picture of a boat, basically. And if we slowly mosey on our way, old Captain America here, old, old Captain America anyway. And we're going to find the second puzzle box. And it's basically the exact same puzzle as we just did. So, yeah, not a lot to tell you really. It's uh, <laughs> You click on each individual piece until we form a picture. And basically, if you want to see the solution, just go ahead, skippy skippy yourself to 14.10, 40 minutes, 10 seconds, pause the video, and just go from it off there. Mm, okay. Now that the two sunny boys are done, we're going to change the weather back to night now. So interact with this thing again, change it to night, bottom left hand corner. And well, let's get our drink on, kind of like drinking in the park. Maybe old Captain America here is reminiscing about days gone past where he used to drink in the park and try and beat up police and stuff like that. 
Or is that just a British thing? I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> well, it was always fun. Anyway, put the moon the right way, obviously. And then we're going to be doing this next night puzzle. And just make sure to be pressing the exact same lights that I do here. So it's bottom left. Then it's right at the very top. Then it's very bottom right. Then bottom left again. And then t the very, very top right. That will end this one. And now once again we're walking right. Man, this old guy must be goddamn knackered by now because I am watching him. Anyway, we're going to the next night puzzle where we're going to be getting a missable achievement. And it's basically for doing the puzzle wrong first. And then we'll do it the right way. Right, so first off, interact with the very top left hand one, the bottom middle, then the top middle. Then the top left again, and then the top, and then the only one on the right. That will get us, that'll make it go wrong, that'll get us the achievement. And now we can go ahead and do the right way. So again, interact with the top left light first. Then go down to the bottom left, then the one on the right, then the top middle, and then the bottom middle. And then that will finish that puzzle. Then we have to now change... Finally, we're on to the last two puzzles. Now we've got to change it from nighttime to sunset. Then we could do those last two puzzles. And then we could do the miscellaneous keep walking achievement, which is walking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back 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 and forth for about five minutes. So let's just change it to sunset voiced. Ah, that's nice. So, interact with this first puzzle box right here, the Sunset 1. And this is very easy. I do like the design of some of these puzzles, though. <laughs> Doi, it's Sunset. We'll try that again. They make it out to look very complicated. But all we need to do with this one is just push this switch down a number of times and the puzzle will end. And that's it. That's it. You don't have to mess around. You don't have to do anything. But it does look like it could be complicated. Which, to be fair, Jesse Mackinnon... I applaud you for that, but no, all you're doing, pushing the switch down a couple of times, there it is, until that one unlocks. And you know something? I lied just now. Yeah, so that is actually the exit, so it was only the one puzzle, sorry, left that we had to do. But, like I said, don't go through that hole in the weird wall yet. We need to be getting the keep walking achievement. So literally, all you need to do is just keep walking back and forth and 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 back and forth. And probably back and forth until the achievement unlocks. Now it's going to take from anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes, so just keep mindlessly walking for now. And then as soon as that's done, then we can go deep inside the deep dark hole and finally finish this level. And yes, I went there. So, since that's the longest level in the game done, thank god, what we can just do now is walk to the right, and we're going to walk to the right until we see a light. But as soon as we see that light, we need to head to the left. So there it is, now head to the left, and just keep going. We're going to go past those weird, creepy boxes again, probably where all his, uh, I don't know, maybe he's got all his poop stuff. Maybe it's all his uh, colostomy bags and shit bags and shit rags and stuff like that. Anyway... Just keep walking past all the uh, weird poop boxes <clears throat> until we get to this next table with another couple of puzzles. So we're going to interact with the left one first. 
And if you get rid of the board on the top there, now there's a certain order you have to do these lights. So it's top, middle first. So click the top, middle, top right, top left, and then bottom right, bottom middle, bottom left. That'll turn this machine on. Then we can click the button to turn it on. And then with the bottom saw, just drag that to the right. The top saw, drag that to the bottom. And then put the arrow sign board back. That'll fill up this jizzo meter right here and then that's the puzzle done and we can crack on then we can just interact with the puzzle box next to it so this one is as easy as literally closing your eyes and hitting your head with it on a table for some reason i don't know why you do that but all you gotta do interact with the boards interact with the button here and that's the puzzle done and as literally easy as crapping your pants which is very easy if you wanted to do it. <laughs> so we're going to keep on heading to the left now. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to go past the table again. And then we're going to see a rocking chair. So all you need to do is just keep walking to the left until a cutscene appears. You know, give the old man a break for God's sake. His brain is not working as it used to. Saying that, that's the same as mine and I'm only 31. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Now, if you could do me a favor, keep walking. No, just keep on walking to the right. And then we've got another little easy piano section. Remember, just copy the uh, whatever the keys are at the top of the screen. Nice and easy. So level 5, we're about just under 15 minutes away from the end now, so go to the left, this first puzzle. This could be complicated, but it's really not that bad. So you've got two buttons there on the bottom, so we're going to rotate it, which is the left side button first, to rotate it once, and then drag the symbol over to the right hand side on the first, the first line there. Then flip it, which is the right, uh, the right button, and then drag that one over to the second symbol there. Rotate it again, drag it over to the third line, and then just flip it one more time, drag it over the fourth line, and that is how you complete the puzzle. So it's rotate, drag, flip, drag, rotate, drag, and flip, drag. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, come on, rotate, flip, drag, rotate, drag, and flip, and drag, etc, etc. Yeah, you, you know how it all goes. Anyway, we're going to head to the next puzzle, which is directly to the left of where we just were. And this is basically um, attaching one thing, uh, attaching one button from the left to the right. Excuse me. <clears throat> so it's from first to third. Assuming we're going from the left, it's third, then up to first, then second to second, and then fourth to fifth, and then fifth to fourth. And that's how we complete puzzle number. Whatever this is.
So next then we're going to take old, old Captain America to the book case, or the bookshelf. And it is just located right here next to the door. And this one again is a very, fairly obvious simple puzzle. In terms of, it's pretty obvious where you, where you need to put everything. So grab the right hand book and put it directly in the middle, which is the fourth one in. And then grab the left one, put it to the third. And then the second to first, and then the fifth to sixth, and that is how it's done. Press the button, that's the puzzle completo. And now we're going to go and interact with this small box, just... Uh, just sort of to the left of the big looking sort of puzzle that we've done before. Now this one is a, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to know where you've got to put the red, these circles. But basically we need to get all these circles turning red. And obviously certain buttons move them at a certain uh, angle, etc. Um, but, so what I tend to do is, yeah, so have a look at the bottom circle there and get that one all chipped in. The one that was on its own. And then try and get the leftmost circle now, sort of in in plain view as well. So obviously the first button will get all of them three going. If you stop it at just the right angle, press the second one. That'll make it spin the other way to the left. It can be a little bit complicated potentially, but it's it's honestly not too bad as long as you're able to sort of join up the circles, um, the the small dots that are on the circles. Then you'll be able to get them in sort of no problem. And that's it then, so it's really not too bad with this third button. And then the fourth button controls the smaller circle, which as you can see, you just need to put it in the uh, bit of red. And that's it, job done. So now that all the puzzles are done, all the four red lights that should now appear on the wheel, there it is. And now we just need to move that wheel in a specific order to be able to get through the door. Again, if the old man was good enough, he would just hack all his way through, but that's fine. So what we need to do, uh, turn on all the four buttons and we need to rotate the wheel in a certain way. So it's, first of all, we're doing right three times. And you know when you've got a full sort of you know, movement when you see the green bar on the left go up. Then it's left once. We're going to just keep going until the green bar moves up. Right once. Left three times. And then right once. And then that should be the boy to be able to get us through and on to level six. Congratulations, old, old Captain America. You might finally meet Peggy again after all that weird time traveling crap in the Avengers. What was that about? <laughs> So we're now less than 10 minutes away from the end of the game, so the first thing we're going to do is interact with this tree. Right, yeah, so we'll interact with the puzzle, and literally just copy the same symbols that I do to sort of form a tree, and that's that puzzle done. So next we need to go over to the TV and we need to basically put the picture, um, basically making it picture perfect so that we can see the actual picture um, by um, fiddling around with the dials on the right. Now again the TikTok generation are going to be so confused that yes, back in the day people had to dial with knobs and, <laughs> dial with knobs, but they had to dial, dial in the TV with 
you know, there's no Netflix, there's no nothing like that. It's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy what the older people had to go through, eh? So, yes, yeah, so you got one which uh, we'll do zoom, which is the second button here. The third one, which will put the picture up and down, and the top one, which will move the picture from side to side. Just sort of keep fiddling with it um, until un until it's done, basically. That's all you can keep doing with this one. There's not, not really that much to explain. You're sort of just having to fiddle with it until it goes in. I mean, if you do want to see the solution of where I place my knobs, <laughs> uh, just go to 31 minutes and 15 seconds. So we're getting closer, we are, we are, and as you've probably just seen, you've seen that one uh, puzzle or that one dial on the wall just open up, so that's the next puzzle we go into. And basically for this one we need to find certain constellations. Um, so again, as you see, you've got two buttons on the bottom there. And what the one on the right is basically to sort of flip it over, and then you've got two switches where you can just put the... Um, the two black lines to choose what constellation you want. So just follow exactly as I do here. Again, really sort of not much to explain. You just have to see by doing and do by seeing. As it were. For the next puzzle then, the clothes move out of the way. They're very scatty looking clothes, aren't they, for old uh, Cap? I'm not going to be wearing that long nighty. No, thank you. Anyway, this is a very easy one. So for the outer ring, just click the A button on it twice. Then for the next ring, click A on it twice. For the third ring, click on it once. And for the final one, click on it twice. And that ends this puzzle. Captain America still has stamina, etc, etc. So we basically we are basically done with the game now. All we are going to be doing is walking to the right. Old Captain America here is going to be playing on the piano, but it's going to take around a minute or two. We still do have one miscellaneous achievement where we just have to quickly go back into Chapter 2 at the end of the game. But that's all. There she is. Big Peg. Pegster. She looks a bit pale and ghosty and hmm, kind of dead. Oh, what the hell?
So it's the end of the game, but get ready to see the random number. Well, I think it's random. I'm pretty sure it's the same, to be honest, though, in this cutscene. So for me, you'll be able to see uh, the lady on the left now, Big Pexter. She's going to be playing piano. And there is the number. So for me, anyway, it's 0447. That is the number we're going to use in Chapter 2. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure it's the same for every game, but it may be random, so just make sure to write that number down. Otherwise, you'll just have to complete uh, chapter 7 again, which will take a couple of minutes, but nobody wants that. So, there we go. The game's done. Thank you, Jesse Mackinnon, for another for another cracking game. He's good at making games, is big Jesse here. Uh, happy day. So, we can just go straight back into it now. So, choose English or whatever Whatever language you prefer. Is it a game by Jesse Mackinnon? I didn't know that. And as soon as we get back into it, we're going to be choosing Chapter 2. There it is, so choose Chapter 2, in case I hadn't mentioned it already. Which I think I did. And of course, the phone is right here at the beginning, so just interact with the phone. There we go, stick your hand on it, and then type in 0447. And that should be the final achievement of the game. Bam. TikTok generation still getting confused. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that should be that then. So congratulations guys and gals on another easy thousand. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope this game, I hope you've enjoyed the game and I hope the guide has helped. If it has, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend if you did find it useful. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. Speaking of Patreon, thank you so, so much to everyone who supports me on there. Absolutely appreciate it, big time. But thank you once again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.